What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing today? Hope you're excited because today we have our first 2023 2024 product. It is MVP. It is released today. And the reason I picked up this hobby box is because it's our first product, kind of, with Connor Bedard. Everyone's going to be chasing after that redemption card. I'll put it up on screen. The Connor Bedard redemption card. I guess that's technically his first. NHL rookie card uh, is redeemable in this product. So everyone's going to be chasing after that. I typically don't open up any MVP, but decided to this time around because of Bedard. This box ended up costing $85 Canadian plus tax, so a bit up from last year's MVP. I typically don't open MVP because it's very much a starter set, a set aimed towards kids. Not a ton of value out of these, but there is some nice low numbered stuff you can hit quickly run through a product breakdown of mvp right now on screen any given hobby box of mvp we can expect one rare hit card 10 high series slash rookie short prints 20 base ice battles parallels five silver script parallels four 20th anniversary inserts one color and contours or 20th anniversary parallel four ice reps and five additional inserts as you guys can see, I don't open a ton of MVP. I have a couple MVP cards in my collection, like a subscriber sent me a Jake Evans MVP rookie, but that's tucked away in my PC. So I just threw some random cards in the background, including some baseball stuff because it's baseball season. So yeah, just ignore that stuff, I guess. Uh, just some random cards back there. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We are so close to 900 subscribers. If you guys would just slap that subscribe button, I really appreciate it. Drop a like on this video, help me reach a wider audience, and comment down below if you'll be opening up any MVP. And uh, yeah, hunting after some Connor Bedard. Let's rip into a hobby box of 2023-2024 MVP. Okay, we got our 20 packs of MVP here. Uh, I would say this is the perfect set for kids, young kids starting out collecting because not a ton of huge cards in this set and it can teach kids how to collect cards and keep them safe. Base design, I've never been a big fan of the MVP base design. So for not a ton of value in this set, I just consider OPG is the same price. I typically lean towards OPG because uh, I don't love the design of the MVP cards. And I typically don't collect a lot of the inserts in this set. So that's why I don't open up a ton of it. We'll start out with an ice battles of Devon Taves. Like I said, you get one of those every pack. We got some bronze in behind MVP talent. Brady Kachuk MVP. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just one of the inserts. That's what my guess is. And then we got some more base on the back. The Connor Bedard Redemption's a big time long shot, but I guess you never know. Got Kevin LeBanc here. Like I said, we'll kind of just skim through the base quickly. Uh, what do we got here? So this, oh, we got our first rookie car. There we go. Get a nice sneak peek at the 2023-24 rookie class. Got Jonathan Grudin there. In behind, we got another Ice Bowser. This one being John Klingberg. And in behind, we got something shiny, our first shiny card, Ice Reps, mascot card, there we go, MVP, Brady Kachuk, and Sparta Cat, that's kind of nice. If you're a mascot collector, MVP is a good set for you, because there's usually quite a few mascot cards in MVP. Yeah, nice indie card there. This being release day, I won't have val values on the cards, so keep that in mind. Uh, so it looks like we got a base of Crosby and Ice Battles of Tyler Pertuzzi, another one of these MVP talents. Oh, there we go. Cole Caulfield, MVP talents with the fake autograph on, on the card, the gold scripts. I'm not sure if that's like a thing. I know silver scripts are a thing, but this one's gold. I will take that for the PC. Very nice. I like that card a lot. Kind of crazy to think that we have three years going on right now. We have 2021, 22 procs still coming out, 2022 and 23, and this is the first 23, 24 proc. So that Cole Caulfield we just pulled is actually a third year Caulfield, but there's still some products with his rookie cards in it that haven't been released. Kind of crazy. Uh, so let's see what we get here in the next pack. Uh, we've got our first rookies. There we go. That's probably one of the top ones to get. Luke Hughes, defenseman for the New Jersey Devils. We will take that in behind. We also have a checklist of Braden Point and another rookie, Silver Script rookies. A Tyson Forster, I believe he was a first round pick to the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, see if it says on the back. It does not say where he was drafted on the back, but I do believe he was a first or second round pick. Nice one to get there. And then some more base. It's actually my first time ever opening MVP, a hobby box that is. Uh, so not familiar with a ton of this stuff. We've got another ice battles here of Martin Jones. I, one thing I haven't been doing is checking the grades on the back. I should start doing that. And we got some shiny coming up here. It looks like we got a Mark Andre Fleury, Jared Spurgeon, Kirill Kaprizov, uh, alternate threads. So is this one of the rare inserts, I believe? Actually, I believe it's not rare at all. I think the pack said one and four. So yeah, nice looking insert there. Very foily with the three players on it. And then Martin Jones here to sign up the Leafs. They have him at an 84 overall. I think that's a little high. I'd put him around 80 to 79 personally. 
Nice battles. We didn't look at Devon Taves, 86. That's probably accurate. Uh, Klingberg, 85. I think it's a little high. I'd put him at like 83, 84. Uh, Bertuzzi, 84. That's fair. Maybe 85. And yeah, that's all the ones we missed. All right, next pack up here. We got Vanacek on the front. Uh, we got rookies here. Oh, no. A nice battle is Erasmus Dahlin. We'll see what he is. That'd be an interesting one. And another ice reps. What the heck? Okay, that's not ideal. Uh, yeah, so I don't love that. <laughs> Unless this is a parallel. Or is one of these a parallel? Maybe this is a parallel. I think this is a parallel. Yes, that has to be a parallel because this one's gold. So I'm not sure what the gold parallels are. Uh, it's not numbered or anything. So it looks like just a gold parallel there of the exact same card we got earlier. The Ice Reps with Spartacat. And Rossmus Dahlin, 87. I put him at like 89. I think he's a little better than 87. All right, got something else shiny in this pack coming up. I've uh, got a rookies there of Billy Sweezy. I'm not even familiar with him. Got another rookie, Ice Battles rookies of Billy Sweezy. Okay, weird theme going on here with the doubles. And we got another one of these alternate threads. Uh, Sweezy there, 70 overall. I guess that's fair. <laughs> and we got alternate threads, Colorado Avalanche, Nathan McKinnon, Kale McCart, and Alexander Georgiev. Okay, this is our first silver script. Oh, there we go. Ice Battles, Jack Hughes. We'll take that. What, is, what do you think he is going to be? He is an 89. Yeah, that's fair. I'd give Hughes an 89. And our Silver Scripts, John Tavares. Not a bad one to get there. Austin Matthews on the front of this product. John Tavares, Silver Script. Ryan Nugent Hopkins on the front of this next pack. Uh, we got another Ice Battles here. Dylan Cousins in behind. Oh, we got a Crosby card. Got to like that. 84. That's probably fair. Uh, I can't even see what that says. Uh, Stars of the Rink. I don't know if you guys can even see that at the top. Sidney Crosby, if you want an insert, you want it to be Crosby or McDavid typically or Ovechkin, one of the top guys. So I'll take a Crosby insert there. Okay, next up, what do we got? Another gold card, or maybe it's one of these MVP things, I think it is. Ice Battles, Matt Zuccarello, and MVP talent of Ryan O'Reilly. Ice Battles, Zuccarello, 86. That may be a little high. I'd give him like an 83, 84. And then, of course, the O'Reilly. Actually, halfway through this hobby box, nothing really too spectacular. Definitely some interesting looking cards. Got a rookie there of Samuel Boldick. Uh, I am familiar with Zach. I'm not really familiar with Sam, so interesting rookie there. Jack Rosovic, Ice Battles. What do we think Rosovic is? 84. And there we go. Ice Reps, <laughs> Jordan Stall and Stormy. If I got the Habs one of this, if the, I'm assuming there's a Habs one. I'm assuming every team has one. That would be pretty cool. Nice Ice Reps there. Uh, okay. Looks like we got a Ice Battles MVP rookies of Luke Hughes. We'll take that. Another Luke Hughes card, 77 overall. And another Leaf Silver script, Jake Muzzin. I uh, don't know if he'll be playing ever again, unfortunately. Okay, next up, what do we got? Ice Bat. Oh, we got a rookie as well. Luke Evangelista, one of my favorite rookies out of this class. Very high on Evangelista. Ice Battles, Cam Fowler. See what Cam Fowler. Oh, is that a 101? Oh my gosh, I think that we pulled a one of one. It's a metal card and it's stuck to the card behind it. We might have hit, we hit a one of one printing plate. Wow, <laughs> too bad. It's Yona Kopanen. I guess it's a rookie. Uh, I will have to do some research on him to be completely honest because that is a huge hit 101 printing plate, black printing plate. If you guys saw our OPG release video, we also had a 101 printing plate. This is a rookie. That's pro That could be a huge card. I'm not sure when he was drafted. Or I've never even heard of him. I'm going to have to do some research real quick. I'm pretty good with my prospects because usually if there's any first or second rounders, I'll know who they are. I don't know who Kuopanen is because he was a fifth rounder of the Boston Bruins. He's only played five NHL games, and he only has one assist. As a 25-year-old, probably doesn't have a ton of upside. Unfortunately, this probably isn't a very big card. But it's nice that it is a one of one, and I'll take a one of one any day of the week. Yeah, you guys would have just saw the breakdown of him there. Uh, he is a fifth round pick, <laughs> probably a pretty rough one to get considering he's 25 already. Uh, ice battles here of Cole Caulfield. What do we think Caulfield's rated? And in behind, we also have another, I can't read these, Stars of the Rink, Jack Hughes. What's Caulfield rated? 86. That seems kind of high, to be honest, considering he's what rated that much higher than Cousins. I'd probably give him 85, but. I'm pretty high on Caulfield. And then, of course, you got Jack Hughes. Yeah, just like the Derek Ryan when we pulled that. Sick that we pulled another 101, but rough player to get, probably. And we also get an Ice Battles here. Brady Kachuk, where they have him rated 88. Yeah, that sounds about right. And an MVP talent of Quinn Hughes. Okay, next up here, where's our rookies or Ice Battles? Ice Battles there, Matt Duchesne, and another MVP talent in behind of, I think that's 
of Yanni Gord. Matthew Shane, 84. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe an 82. MVP talent of Yanni Gord. More packs to go here to round out this hobby box. Uh, got an ice pile of Patrick Kane. See where he ends up playing next season. Uh, 86 overall. Yeah, at this point in his career, I think that's fair. And another ice wraps of Jamie Van and Victor E. Green there. Final three packs here. We'll kind of go th quickly through these. Got a rookies there of Yuri Patera. Uh, an ice battles of Jonathan Grudin. The rookies ice battles. And a silver script of John Carlson. Pack up here. What do we got? Got an ice battles of Vincent Trocheck. What overall is he? 84. And I think that's our last silver script of Miko Ranton. Final pack of 2023-24 MVP. This has gone pretty much how I expected. Nothing overly spectacular. We did hit a 101, so I guess I really can't complain. We got an ice battles of Austin Matthews. We'll see how high they have him rated, as well as another, uh, I still can't remember what these inserts are called, Stars of the Rink 92 Matthews. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe a little higher, even. Stars of the Rink Matt Barzell. And yeah, overall, I'd say that was a solid box. So here's everything from this hobby box I set aside. I set aside all the mascot cards as well as this rookie silver script, or not, so, yeah, silver script of Tyson Forrester. Some PC stuff, the Cole Caulfield Ice Battles, uh, a rookie of Evangelista, of course, the 101, the hit of the box of Jonah. Kopanen, if I said that right. I, I'm not familiar with him. It seems like he's an HL guy at this point. Nice to get a 101, but I would have liked a better name. We got the Ice Battles rookie of Luke Hughes. I got the gold parallel of uh, Break a Chuck and Spartacat there. Luke Hughes rookie. And then, of course, probably my favorite bowl of the box, MVP talent, the gold fake auto there of Cole Caulfield. Really like that. Third year Caulfield at this point. Uh, kind of crazy to think. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think of MVP. I probably won't open up any more of this because like I said, I don't really collect MVP. But for McDavid, or not McDavid, for Bedard's year, I figure I might as well give it a try, try to get that redemption card. Didn't get it today, but we did hit a nice 101. Let me know what you guys think of MVP down in the comments below. Make sure you follow us over on Instagram and whatnot at our sports cards. Drop a like on this video. Really appreciate it. Slap that subscribe button. We're so close to 900 subs. Thank you all so much for watching today's release day opening. Take care, everyone. Have a good one.